Well, a bizarre and scary situation in Frederick County. An elementary school teacher left the building with her students and then reported a mass stabbing. And that caused the school to go into lockdown, but the sheriff's office says it was all a false report. Lindsay Watts in Monrovia learning new details tonight. The question that remains tonight is why did this teacher do what she did? The sheriff's office says she left Green Valley Elementary School in the middle of the day with 27 students walking nearly a mile through the woods to this strip mall. They ended up here at Buzz Cafe. Investigators say the teacher told an employee, call 911. Multiple people have been stabbed at my school. The sheriff's office says the students with her were distraught. I can tell you that the students and the teacher, when they got to the Buzz Cafe, were very upset. There was some crying going on. First responders rushed to Green Valley Elementary prepared for the worst. This was just before 1230 this afternoon. Here's what went out over police radio. Again, initially, an employee at Buzz Cafe called 911. She was advising 30 students and one teacher from the school. They said there was a stabbing. We now have a teacher on the phone. We're still getting further information. The school was locked down, which means no one could come in, no one could leave, hallways were cleared. I spoke to a dad tonight who says he and other parents got wind of this before the school notified anyone. He says there was a frantic period of time where they were all trying to figure out what was happening. Eventually, everyone realized there was no threat. The students at the cafe were bused back to school, and the sheriff's office says the teacher was taken into custody. But I have to be clear, custody does not mean that that person was arrested. Um, that means they could be transported to the health, Frederick Health Hospital. They could be transported back to the law enforcement center for questioning. From there, we'll work with the Frederick County State's Attorney's Office to determine if charges are pending. What did the teacher tell your investigators? Uh, that's still part of the investigation. I can't get into that yet. Sheriff spokesman Todd Weibel tells me he's also not able to say if the teacher is still in custody. We've reached out to a spokesman for Frederick County Public Schools with questions, but tonight we still have not heard back. Back to you.